guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're gonna be doing my Halloween haul part one. As some of you may know, I start Halloween shopping around July when things start hitting stores. I obviously don't need anything else Halloween, but it's always fun to go and get some new pieces and things. I love Halloween. I often like rotate out the types of themes and things that I do. And I only recently started like heavily hunting for Halloween in like 2020. So not quite as long as I've been doing Christmas. We go all out in this house. The last couple years I have been doing hauls that are themed like kitchen decor, house decor, clothing, things like that. But honestly, I've gotten so much Halloween already that I just kind of want to film a generic haul. So the only thing I'm going to be leaving out is anything that's Disney themed. I'm going to do a separate themed Disney haul because I will have a lot in that category but everything else is just going to be random and then we'll probably have at least one more haul after this of stuff that I find after this video. I just wanted to make sure to get this video up nice and early and also because I pile all of this in my guest room and I want to start decorating it. I will try and link the stores that I get certain things from. A lot of this you're not going to be able to find because things come and go so quickly with places like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. but it kind of gives you some ideas of things you can look for next year. A lot of times they bring stuff back and Hopefully it's just fun to watch. So we're gonna dive right in. Okay, first up is Ross. I went totally ham at Ross already. I really don't like shopping at Ross. Like the actual shopping experience is not very good. It's very chaotic. The people are crazy in there. The checkout experience is nuts, but the deals are so good. And sometimes they get stuff like leftover from Michael's from last year, or they even had stuff that I saw at like at home stores this year for like a crazy cheap price. I have been going there and it was so crazy. They weren't even putting out that much, but everything they were putting out was like incredible. So I got quite a few things. Okay, so I got this table runner and this is by Mummy Manor. It was $7, which is amazing because usually table runners are like 17 and it's very, very large. And I like to use these for my entertainment center, for the top of my shorter bookshelves or for like my desk. I rarely actually use them for a table. This one was just super cute. I'm having a mad scientist themed Halloween party this year. And I also thought that this went kind of well. So I got that. Next up at Ross, I got these tiny little stoneware bowls. So these have bats and skeletons on them. And then these have spiders and they've got spider web insides and different insides. These were only $3.99. I love having Halloween dishware. We use tiny bowls all the time for like appetizers and things. And I do have a couple tiny bowls, not that many, and these are a little bit bigger as well. So yay. I got two mugs and I'm really trying to be careful with the mugs this year because I have so many, but I do use them for decor sometimes or like to hold pens and pencils and bookmarks and different things. I got this little pumpkin ghost guy. So he was $3.99. Really, really cute. Ghost mugs are like my thing. And then I got this amazing haunted house mug for $4.99. It is so freaking cute and has a topper on it. I might use this one more for decor because it is like a more delicate style mug, but how cute is this? Okay, then I got this amazing little tray for $5.99 and has like skulls and crystals and things. It's black and white, which is more the main theme that I do for my house. So last year I started collecting these amazing spooky teacups and they also had like galaxy themed teacups and I got a galaxy themed teapot that was like black and white with like stars and constellations. I'll put a little picture or video up here of the Hocus Pocus tea party that I had for my mom and my sister when the movie came out last year. I think this year I'm going to do a Wednesday Addams party because we none of us have watched it yet. So stay tuned for that. But I only got three spooky teacups last year and then I got three of the star ones and then the teapot. So I wanted to keep my eye out for some new ones. So I got this beautiful one. I actually got two of these. And I need to take one back. So it's black and white and it has skulls and like black roses on it and like it's so pretty. And these were $6.99 and then I got one that matches that tray that has like skulls in witch hands and stuff too. So these kind of go together. And then I got these black ones with gold rims. This one just has a crow on the inside and then this one has a spider on the inside and there's like scalloped edges. I may not keep all of these. I need to get my other teapot out and like figure out how many I actually need to keep, but I got all of them for now just to make sure I had options to choose from. And then I put it out into the universe that I really wanted a spider webbed themed teapot. One of the cups I got last year was spider web themed and it was my favorite. And then the other day I went to Ross and they had it. I didn't even know that this existed. So this is 10 dollars 
and it's got spider webs. Sorry, my ring light's making it shiny. It's got a little sparkly top. It's got some gold edging. And these are all by Elegance. So these are all like hand wash. They're like nice quality, but you're, they're definitely not for the dishwasher. But oh, I was so excited to get a spooky teapot. And then lastly at Ross, I got this arsenic bottle. I have a lot of bottles and I make a lot of bottles, but I loved the shape and I loved the little skull on the top. I wish the lid was removable because it's not. So that's kind of silly. But again, I'm having like a mad scientist themed party. So I thought that this would be kind of a cute thing to have on display and this one was $3.99. Okay, I've only got one thing from Big Lots this year and I was like determined to get it. So last year they came out with this and I wanted it so badly and then I saw it but I was cheap and I was waiting for it to go on sale because they'll get like a 20% off coupon and then they sold out because this is kind of a Bath and Body Works dupe. So I got this skeleton hand candle holder. It bothers Jeff that there's three skeleton hands but I'm okay with it. So this will hold like a Bath and Body Works size candle or like an Aldi's candle like one of those larger candles. It does say use with flameless candles only but I think that was because they didn't want you use Using, like a pillar candle that will like melt and get hot on it so I'm gonna keep an eye on it but it is so amazing and it goes really good with my decor because I really like skeleton so this one was 15 I do think I had like a 20% off coupon this kind of stuff at Bath and Body Works is like $40 so I was excited and it's actually like very solid and better quality than I thought okay speaking of Bath and Body Works I personally don't shop there a lot I like their decor and stuff but it's so expensive and sometimes it's not the best quality and I personally don't always like their smells they're very very strong and a little bit overly chemically for me I like a little bit more on the natural side but my mom went the other day and she got me this because she knows I love Halloween so she got me this vampire blood soap they were having like a sale and then this little hand soap holder this is like a silicone witch hand you like put your soap in here and then when you pump your soap it makes like a witchy sound and will also like glow in the dark so i thought that was pretty pretty cool so excited to use this okay then from amazon the only thing i've gotten so far i do plan on ordering some other things during their Amazon day sale, I got this swimsuit that I really, really wanted because it stays hot here until mid-October, like very hot. Like sometimes we don't even get the warm temperatures until August. And I wanted to have like a fall summer swimsuit. So I got this like two piece black green bat swimsuit that is like so freaking cute on sale on Prime Day. So I think it was like 22 on sale. It's just so stinking cute. So I got this for my fall summer life. Also at Ross, I forgot, because it stays hot here for so long, I got these black shorts. I wanted to include them in here because I'm doing like a literally hot girl fall because it's freaking hot and like even this t-shirt, which is a pumpkin by the way, is like too hot for fall. You need like tank tops and shorts. So I got some black shorts and I'm gonna get some like cute spooky tank top to wear when we're like going to the pumpkin patches and stuff like that. Speaking of being hot, we're gonna move on to Marshall's next. So I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I got on sale last year. That's hit or miss. Like sometimes I go after Halloween shopping and look for sales and there's literally nothing. And then last year they had so much left over. The sales were incredible. So I got this one piece like pajama set. Now it's a little warm it's long sleeve I wish it was short sleeve but it is shorts and it's pumpkins so cute for three dollars on sale and it comes with socks as I got one the year before which is this green one I think it glows in the dark with ghosts and it was so comfortable and I loved it so now I have two I got one for my sister too because they were so cheap also at Marshall's I got this skeleton tote bag it's like a nice canvas cloth bag and I got one of these that had pumpkins on it last year for the library and I usually like having two because I go to two different libraries and as I like finish up the books I'll like put them in the different bags so I got this one it was five dollars at Marshall's then I got three candles so I got this little ghost candle because I love ghosts and he's so cute this was $8 and it smells pretty good. I'm kind of picky with candles, but I like having these cute jars and stuff too. Yay, so this was $7.99. And then my friend Azalea got me these candles because I was on the lookout for them. I think she got them at Marshall's. I believe they were 13. They had smaller version and you can also find them at HomeGoods and TJ Maxx, but this is the Poison Apple Cider Soda Pop Candle and Vampire Venom Potion by DW Homes. Sometimes Francesca's has these and I think they have them on their website also. They both smell really good and it looks like soda pop and I just thought that they were so stinking cute I love them so much then I got these tiny little skeleton jars they came together I have larger versions of these that I use all the time for like my uh, toner for ginger shots in the fridge like all kinds of different stuff so these were $5.99 for two and I also thought I could use them for 
my Halloween party because they're mad scientist s. And I think the last thing I got at Marshall's so far that wasn't like Disney themed is this haunted house. Now it's purple. I don't really have anything purple in my house, but I decided to start collecting haunted houses last year. So this is my second one that I've gotten so far and I absolutely love it. It's so cute and it lights up and it's nice and thin so it can fit a variety of different places. And that haunted house was 17. One more thing at Marshall's. I also got this body scrub from Onyx Brands. Again, I'm kind of picky with my skincare, but these scrubs are so good. They smell great. They're sugar made. They are so beautiful. This one is pumpkin, but it smells kind of more like apple. It's like harvest woods and they're really, really pretty. And I love them and they're $5.99. Okay. So next up is Hot Topic. And I went there with my sister recently and I think this is all that I got. So I just got this like spooky ring set and it was like on sale. I think these three came together. So there's like a little rose and then there's like a skeleton one. I don't think you can see it too well and a little heart with an arrow. And then I got this bigger one that has like a skeleton body in it because I don't have any spooky rings. So I thought that would be fun. Okay, now we're going to do at home. The only things that I got at at home are this creepy little pumpkin guy, which I don't really have this color harvest stuff anymore, but I'll find somewhere to put him. And I got this lime green creepy cloth because I am doing a mad scientist themed Halloween party, like I said, and I think this will glow in the dark and be really cool. And then I got this lime green LED candle. This was $6.99. It was a little pricey, but I wanted to get a couple unique things because I don't really have much with this color and I thought that would be nice and spooky. Okay, next up we're going to do Dollar Tree. They are just now putting out Halloween, so I haven't gotten a whole lot yet. I'm filling this towards the end of August. So I got a couple of these spooky like fabric squares. This one has like bats and spider webs and stuff on it. I use these for photos. I use these to like cover up my kombucha jars, like a variety of things. So I always get a couple. I got these laboratory bottles. They were two for a dollar because again, I thought these would be really cool to do some kind of craft for the party. I got some more of the rub-on transfers. Now I use these actually to make bookmarks. So I put them on paper and then I laminate them. They're really cute and they have really good stickers this time of year too. I got a bunch of these LED projector lights. They just put batteries in them and they project different like images onto the wall. I like using these when I take a spooky bath or like to add to like giveaway packages and things. I do lots of like Halloween themed gift baskets and things for friends and boxes and this is like a great little add-on that's very cool. More stickers. Again, these are some like ghosty stickers that I will use for bookmark making. These are 3D, which I don't love because I have to like take off like 3D puffy sticker portion to make them work for bookmarks, but the ghosts and things are super cute. This is a new item. They have these little, I don't even know if you can tell, but they have these little ceramic books. Like this one has an eye on it. It has a place to write like a book title. And then this is like a spider web. So I think we're going to do these for like a craft night at some point. Be cute to have some and like books in here. Okay, then at Burlington, I got three things. So I got these little skeleton like miniature espresso mugs. I'll probably keep like one in my cabinet just because it's so cute and I love skeletons and then use the rest to make candles for friends and things because I do make candles. So I thought they were really cute and they were only $6 for four. I also got this amazing pumpkin spooky mug. I actually don't think I have a pumpkin mug and I just love the dark vibe of him. And he was $4. And then lastly from Burlington, I got this spiderweb shower curtain. I have a super epic Jack Skellington shower curtain, but I've used them for like three years now and I thought I would just mix it up this year, try something different with the theme. And these are really inexpensive. They're like nine bucks. Super cute. I actually went to Spirit Halloween the day after Halloween last year and got some things. They were all 50% off. So I got this hat that I really wanted that's like spooky themed with like potions and stuff. And it was normally 14, so I got it for seven. So I was really glad I waited because that's a sweet deal. And then I also got this amazing Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sister Witch Museum sign. It's fantastic. And this was 26, so I got it for 13. And it's a really nice wood piece. Wasn't sure if I should put that in my Disney haul, but it's here for now. I also got a lab coat for half off last year, but that's gonna be our costume this year as well. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Okay, next up we're gonna do TJ Maxx. Again, last year when everything went on sale, I went and I got this, which was originally 17, but it was 850 plus like an additional 30% off. So I got it for like $5. And this is beautiful like skeleton bust. Now I'm gonna paint this to be like red and black. Dollar Tree had these last year that were the same color and I painted this to be red and black. So I'm gonna do this as well because we're doing like red in my office and I thought, this was amazing. Okay, my friend got me this book at TJ Maxx. Again, it's purple. I don't really have anything purple, but it's so epic and cool, and I thought I could use it for book photos too. So this one was $10, and it also 
lights up. Then from Home Goods, I got this bat bowl, another bowl, but this is like a larger size and I just like this collection. It's from Coco and Lola, it's $7 really really nice quality. Also from TJ Maxx another Harry Potter mug the golden snitch. This one will probably definitely go in my Harry Potter guest room because it's incredible and this one was I think $12.99. Also at Home Goods, I got this amazing ghost bath mat. I needed a new bath mat really bad and I thought this would look really cute with my new spider web shower curtain and it's so soft. This was 17 but it's very large. At Michael's the only thing I've gotten this year is this amazing witch painting. So last year I got a witch painting from Michael's and it was my favorite thing that I got and this year she's got a little bit of an auburn tone and she lights up still and she's got her crows and this was 25 and I think I had 20% off. That's like a $5 cashback thing. So I got it pretty cheap, less than $20. And it's very large. Okay, then the last thing I got, one of the most exciting, again, I got this like in the summer or early spring. Ruggable had like a buy one, get one half off sale and I needed a new rug for my living room really bad. I've heard great things about Ruggable because you can wash them. They have like a thick pad that Velcros to the rug. The rug is thin but good quality and then you can put it in the washer and they're really comfy. So I got a really pretty one for our living room and then with half off. I got this amazing skeleton one that I'm gonna put out today. I'm so excited because if you've watched any of my past Halloween videos, I have been complaining about my tropical themed rug in there messing up the look of my Halloween decor. So now I need to come up with a plan for Christmas, but I'm so happy to have that. It's so cool. It's gonna look amazing. So you'll see that in an upcoming house tour. Okay, I have one more piece. Again, I may not keep it because I got it because I got really excited about it. And then it doesn't really look good anywhere in here. So you guys let me know, but I found this giant book and it has a hand, it says spells, it lights up, it's got a bat on it. It's just super cool. And this was only 25, which I thought was pretty good for how big it is, but I gotta find a place to put it. It's way too big for my shelves. It looks kind of obnoxious, but I mean, it's a giant book. So this one I got at Home Goods. Okay, you guys, so I think that is everything for my part one of my Halloween haul. I know it is a lot and I'll probably have another big haul. Some of this I use for work like pictures and things. I use a lot of it for content, but I just also love Halloween. I do pretty basic like spring summer decor because I go really hard for Halloween and Christmas and just make it like a magical place. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part two, which I think is going to be Disney themed and I'll see you guys next time on the bright side.